Hello and welcome to our A place Factorio C block. This episode 240. Uh, we're almost finished with our green circuit setup. The only thing we need is to get wooden board into the network. And I'm just gonna check if we want to make that in a new way for this project. Ah, uh, we could do paper making. Cellulose pulp. Yeah, so there's advanced ways we could be making paper. And that's more, like that's more, should be more scalable. I think for now we'll be okay if we just use wood. Like we're not, no longer using the wood to make massive amounts of resin. Um, so yeah, I think we'll be fine if we just place like one of these guys in here and just use like have one dedicated for the network that should be totally fine so we'll we'll run it like that we'll copy this over uh run to a few guys and then uh, a fast inserter into a passive provider limit this and power the bunch yeah this should be okay we're, we're going to fly some over. That's going to be a little bit intensive, I think. But then again, it should also be fine. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. So I want to see if, if throughput wise, this all works out. And actually, um, I think we're going to want to be doing modules in there as well. If not these kind, then at least I'll just grab some of these to just have an idea of how, what it would look like. Though power usage wise, this is also kind of problematic again, but let's just see how it's going and then decide afterwards. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, this likely needs to be bigger or is it yeah this this one should be like uh, let's make that like 200 uh that should dedicate some more robots to fulfill that let's see yeah we're, we're getting some uh some iron plates over we could do uncoiling at this spot as well which might make sense if we want to uh, limit robot usage let's see yeah these are pretty much non-stop working working non-stop yeah it looks like this is actually fine some some weirdness going on but basically yeah this guy can work constantly which is what we're all all doing this for yeah so that's gonna give us a nice amount of green circuits uh, the only thing is that we might wanna um... okay why are you so low oh interesting we're not getting enough uncoiling Oh, because we're actually low on this stuff. And why are we low on that? Because we're low on copper. And we're low on copper because... We're actually low on copper? Because we're low on sulfuric acid. Okay, interesting. Yeah, we'll have to fix that up. Um... Let's see. So I think we're bridging that. Yeah, we're. I'm pretty sure we're connect. We've connected this somewhere to the. So we have this asset. Yeah. And we. So I want to check if we're connecting this at some point to the new bus. Because if we're not, let's see. We can easily check that, right? So we have sulfuric acid somewhere over here. We don't, okay, then it should be a little bit more down. Then maybe we haven't connected it up. Let's see. 
because that probably means our oh no it's not yet here right let's see so we have this looks like we're gonna where we're making sulfuric acid yeah and this is actually low yeah okay um okay interesting um Ooh, this might be okay. We're not. I'm not sweating that. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's connected then. Let's see. Um, like we have a bunch of sulfur in storage in some places still. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think we have like half a, a warehouse full of sulfur somewhere. But the fact that this is happening is kind of worrying. Let's see. Yeah, so these guys are still doing fine. But we have a bunch of sulfur in here. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is the main place where we could actually just get sulfur and, and be totally fine with it. Let's look at these guys. Yeah, so here we're just, we're just not getting enough sulfur, right? So let's see. We're going to do a passive provider over here. We're gonna do a filter inserter. Uh, we're gonna limit that. Uh, no, we we wanna connect this to the network, and then uh, grab this. This should be less than two hundred. And we also wanna filter on sulfur. Uh, yeah, we're good. Okay, so we're bringing some sulfur into the network and then we're gonna just drop that off uh, somewhere over here. Uh, actually, we have input priority on this side, so we can just request it up here uh, and then put it on the belt. So yeah, you're gonna be requesting sulfur. Let's crank this request up a little bit. Yeah, 200 seems fine. And if we add another inserter, uh, and you have, okay, let's offset you to the top, and then we can be sure to be getting a full belt of sulfur. So that should be pretty helpful. Right, that's that's gonna be helpful, but we do want to keep an eye on why this is happening, um, and if we have another way of getting sulfuric acid. Let's see, sulfuric acid. So this is one. Okay, that's the only one. So sulfur dioxide gas is the way, but that we can get in different ways. So we can get it from calcium sulfide sulfate as well. Um, it's a byproduct here. I'm pretty sure we have that. Yeah, it's a byproduct here. Yeah, it's a byproduct in a ton of places. So basically, this I guess is no. This is the the way to move forward, and I'm pretty sure we have the calcium sulfate. Um, I'm in particular. I'm pretty sure that's one of the products that's up in this warehouse. Um, so let's check for that. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, and we should probably also check if the. I'm pretty. Yeah, it's it's gotta be the case. Yeah, we have the calcium sulfate up here. So let's uh, maybe try and use that then. Uh, filter inserters. Uh, up here. Uh, you're gonna be filtering out calcium sulfate. Yep. That's gonna go into a passive provider. We're gonna need to place a RoboPort for that. Uh, yeah, here seems fine. Um, and you're gonna be connected to the network. Uh, and we'll get this in here. This should be less than. 200 yeah and then it will it will pull the ones that we have out and we can we can reprocess them 
I don't know if we have another use for them. Calcium. Let's see, what else can we do with them? Oh no, we can only reprocess them like this. So yeah, let's do that. Um, you're low on power. That's weird. Are we all low on power? Nope. Yeah, okay, you're just charging up. That's fine. I guess we uh, didn't have the, the thing. Okay, so we have our calcium sulfate that we can reprocess. We're gonna need purified water for that, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Or we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna need purified water for that, and we're gonna get lime and sulfur dioxide gas. I wanna check that the sulfur dioxide gas line that we're running here is. Yeah, it doesn't matter where it's connected. So here we're just getting that and turning it into sulfuric acid. And same, I guess, down below. So I think we're good. Uh, the only use for this is reprocessing it into sulfur dioxide gas. But the problem is that we have more important waste processes. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just set it up somewhere with a robot. Uh, like probably kind of near to... Uh, maybe we actually want to do it right next to this stuff and it's kind of messy it's actually yeah it's actually no or yeah we want to get this but we want to be able to set it up in an in an okay spot um yeah, so we have the sulfuric acid running over here but we want to be able to we're going to output sulfur dioxide with this and we're going to need purified water. So we could just set up like uh, just one chemical plant over here. Um, and then we're good. Um, Okay, uh, chemical plant. Let's see, yeah, we can we can actually sneak it in there. Uh, let's see, calcium sulfate reprocessing. It's gonna be it's gonna be this one. Uh, we can run the purified water just straight along it. Yeah, let's move this pole. Uh, there we go. Then we're gonna get you out of here i guess yeah that's fine we'll need to uh dive under with the purified water for a little bit and we can connect it up like this oh 
Why is this so far, Cass? Because I messed this up. Wait, what? Uh, oh, because we have that going on. Okay. I uh, guess we're gonna go over here then. Yeah, that's better. There we go. Okay. Uh, then we power this and we have input and output. So, request or test, test an active provider. Um, yeah, so the only thing is, well, this is behind. Uh, yeah, so this is actually perfect, right? So it's behind the same top of valve that this one is as. And we could uh, have this guy get priority over. No, that doesn't really matter. Uh, in fact, oh. Oh, we're actually getting some here again. Does that make sense? I guess that does make sense. Interesting. Should we be upgrading these? I don't think it would hurt. Let's do that. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, they're kind of expensive. Maybe I should be uh, automating some of these. Um, this is fine. Yeah. And how are you doing? You're doing fine. Uh, is that because this is... Yeah, this is all backed up. Okay. And we're good, I guess. Yeah, the sulfuric acid is pretty high up. Uh, and, and this line, yeah, that's just at 80. That's fine. Okay. Awesome. So that means... I don't know why we noticed this. Because the copper was low. So let's look at how copper is now. And... Uh, Draw conclusions from that if necessary. Let's see. Yeah, so we have copper. Yeah, I guess we can do the reprocessing if we wanted to because uh, basically the so the nice nice thing about it is that if we do the reprocessing, then we're using less ore for other stuff. Um, as it is, let's see. Yeah, so we could be getting in. Yeah, we could set another one of these or yeah, this one guy is running full speed. Yeah, we could we could upgrade them probably, right? So let's see, blast furnace. Uh, this is a blast furnace two. We could make a blast furnace three out of that. Let's see, we're waiting on clay brick. I'm pretty sure this is not in the network. Nope, we'll have to go get that ourselves. But then we can put it in the network for the first time, so that's going to be useful. Yeah, so we're going to get that blast furnace upgraded. That should help. Um. It's kind of weird that this one can run and that one can't. I guess it's... Uh, I don't know what's going on there. Um, Blast Furnace 3. Here you go. So that should be a little bit speedier. Could we be doing rod modules in any of this? Doesn't look like it, right? Nope. We could be doing speed modules if we wanted to. But yeah, this seems uh, legit. So you're a little bit off now because of you guys. Let's see, can we make a, we can make a pallet press too, but we'll, we need a clay for that as well. So let's go grab ourselves some clay. Um, let's see where that is. Should be somewhere down here then. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we'll need some active providers. Yeah, there we go. Here's the clay. Uh, can we do this? Probably not. No. Okay. Uh, clay brick is less than uh, 200. There we go. And the robots are coming in to rescue us. Okay. So why were we doing all of this? Because copper was low and copper was a limiting factor for the chips, I guess. 
Um, how's that looking right now? This is looking pretty okay. Uh, these guys are still going full edit, full blast. But oh yeah, the, the, these coils are kind of low. And those coils are still low because... Yeah, because you guys are not going full speed. And that is still because of the, the molten copper. So the problem here is also like there's a, a prioritization problem, right? So we can't really determine what, what goes where. So yeah, but I mean, it's also a little bit of a, an actual production issue. We can't just like explain it away. It is, it is a little bit of an actual issue. Let's see if we can upgrade some more copper. Let's see, molten copper. That's always from ingots. We're, yeah, we're using the highest level production for that. Uh, pellets, yep. Yeah, so I think this, this is the highest level we can go at, so. Yeah, we'd need to scale this up if we wanted to. Um, so what we could do is, um, I guess, make like a copper ingot. Like we could do this part. We could uh, blueprint that. And then we should be okay. Um, yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we should want to, to maybe blueprint like some ingot production. Basically we're going to need oxygen for it. But other than that, like we could do direct insertion for, for most of this, right? We could make like a nice block and, uh, what we could do is squeeze like the pallet machines next to the blast furnace. Uh, do direct insertion of the cathodes to three chemical furnaces and then all of those outputs the the, the copper ingots and then we can uh, supplement these with some more like smelting and that that should help yeah i think uh, we should be going for that then um yeah so let's uh Fill in a little bit of landfill and make that happen here as well. Let's see, why is this backlogged? Or it's not backlogged rather, it's just stalled, right? Let's see. What's going on here? And uh, this looks it's lacking these guys. Yeah, okay, it's, it's also because of copper. Um yeah so let's cut this episode here uh, and then uh, next time we'll uh, we'll figure out how to do the the copper stuff uh, thanks for watching and see you next time if you enjoyed this video please consider liking and subscribing it helps people like you find it too thanks